Hello, this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I'm going to speak about uh, the similarities and the differences between discharging of the weight from the after part of the ship and the dry docking. Dry docking is considered to be similar to discharging of a weight from the keel area and from the aft area. Let us see what are the similarities and the differences. First of all, let us consider what happens when we discharge the weight from an after part. So, uh, let us say that here is the ship. We want to discharge a weight from a position very close to aft perpendicular. This is the center of flotation of the ship. The vessel is in equilibrium position whereby the center of gravity and center of buoyancy are in a vertical line perpendicular to the water line. Now what happens when we discharge the weight from here? There is a lever which is equal to LCF, approximately equal to LCF and when we discharge the weight from this position, a lever that is LCF multiplied by the weight that is discharged creates a trimming moment called W into LCF and there is a trim change that is caused given by this expression and the ship's trim changes and the new water line that will come will be a line that will pivot about center of rotation. Right? This is what happens in uh, a change of trim. What happens is when we have discharged the weight equal to W, the bodily rise is equal to W upon 100 TPC and trim change is given by the expression W into LCF divided by 100 MCTC. What happens in this process? We can see that the draft will reduce, the trim will change forward ways and once again the equilibrium will take place. How the equilibrium takes place? We are discharging from a position aft, so G will have a tendency to shift forward. So G shifts along this line in opposite direction. So G shifts upwards, G shifts forward. Now, uh, whatever is the forward shift of G is compensated by the new underwater volume of the ship, whereby the buoyancy wedge from this portion shifts over here. Now, what is the result of discharging the weight from aft? There is a change of trim towards forward and there is reduction of draft and underwater volume. Now, the same thing can be seen in this animated picture whereby we discharge the weight from the after part, you know, and that weight is in the after part and in the keel area. As we discharge more and more weight, more and more trimming moment causing the vessel to trim by forward happens and this is associated with a reduction of the draft and G moving upwards. <coughs> now let us see what happens in the dry docking. Now let us look at the ship which is about to be dry docked. This is the beginning of critical period whereby the stern part of the ship is just about touching the block. At this moment the up thrust is zero. Now the ship actually right now is in free floating condition whereby she is in equilibrium with G and B vertically above each other. Now as the water level drops as the water level drops, what happens is there is a reduction of buoyancy. The buoyancy 
was suppose uh, 7000 tons after the drop of water level suppose it becomes 6500 that means that 500 tons of uh, buoyancy that is lost that 500 tons will appear as upthrust here now because of this upthrust what happens is there is a change of trim that happens about center of flotation the ship trims by forward and what happens is the forward draft increases the aft draft decreases this process continues till the ship sits over the block now in this dry docking the g might be uh, considered as moving virtually but physically the g remains there so g has to be equated with an upward force so what is happening is there is a growth of p here and subsequently the ship trims by forward which means the forward draft will increase and the aft draft will decrease and the residual position of center of buoyancy because of the underwater volume by the virtue of underwater volume wherever is the residual buoyancy force that buoyancy force along with p they will integrate together and they will come against the vertical downward force from center of gravity and equilibrium is attained throughout the critical period at the end of critical period what happens is the p has grown to a, a maximum strength and this causes the vessel to nearly sit all over so just before the ship sits all over the value of p is maximum so we say that at critical moment the value of p grows to maximum so the final position of the ship is the ship sits all over the blocks the p which was maximum suddenly gets distributed in all these blocks and the upthrust now which was over here gets distributed in different blocks now the water level probably is this now where the blocks are taken all over thereafter as the water level drops the upthrust over the blocks increases and eventually there is going to be a situation where the water level comes in line with the blocks and we say that the ship is dried out so the critical period starts from the moment the stern touches and it ends when the ship sits all over now we can understand the same thing in this animated picture whereby p gradually grows in the dry dock as the water level falls and uh, the the value of p is equivalent to whatever is the loss in buoyancy force right so this uh, uh, p that is upthrust this force becomes maximum at the end of critical period this is a moment just before the ship sits all over and that moment the p is maximum now just after the critical moment what happens is this p gets distributed in small small upward forces at different blocks so now the force is not acting from a single point it is distributed all over now let's uh, quickly understand what is the difference and what are the similarities between the two processes that is the discharging of the weight from aft and the dry docking Let us first try and understand the similarities. Number one, the draft. You can see in both the processes, the draft decreases. In both the situations, whether we are discharging the weight or dry docking, the mean draft decreases. And then if we talk about the underwater volume, underwater volume also decreases then trim of the vessel changes forward ways changes forward ways these are the absolute similarities in the two processes and then we talk about the trim change the formulae are similar trim change here is W into LCF 
upon 100 mctc here also the formula is p into lcf divided by 100 mctc now what happens to the center of gravity center of gravity moves forward and upwards here the center of gravity we may say moves upwards but virtually in discharging the displacement positively reduces and here there is a virtual reduction of displacement that means displacement the virtual displacement is lower than the actual displacement initially now there are two other very important considerations uh, whereby we find some difference in the two processes one is the change of draft or water level when we consider discharging of the weight when we discharge the weight what happens is the change of draft or water level is caused due to discharge of weight because we are discharging the weight there is change of water level there is change of draft now here what happens is the fall of water level is responsible for growth of upthrust and this upthrust causes change of trim now the last point of the difference between the two is how the equilibrium is achieved now while we are discharging the weight what happens is because we are discharging the weight in the aft part the g runs in forward direction and now after change of trim what happens is even b rushes in the forward direction and once again b and g come in a vertical line now let us see how the equilibrium is attained in dry docking throughout the dry docking in critical period p is continuously growing ship is continuously trimming forward which means that the position of residual buoyancy which is given by the water right that attains a new position because of the change of form and also p is continuously growing now the residual buoyancy which comes from the water and upthrust which is given by the block dry block they join and they come against the vertical downward force from center of gravity and equilibrium is attained throughout the critical period i hope you have enjoyed and understood the similarities and differences in uh, discharging a weight from an aft position near the keel and dry docking.